time to talk about texturing. The PlayStation was capable of up to 256 squared texture maps at 4 bits. The smaller the texture, the more colors could be used. To save on texture space, textures were usually designed to tile, and UVs were kept square, even when it resulted in UV warping. Another hardware quirk unique to the PlayStation is its lack of depth sorting, which resulted in the infamous warping at the vertices when the camera was at a sharp angle. The PlayStation was capable of dynamically subdividing geometry as it approached the camera, which is why texture warping is never as dramatic as people seem to remember. I typically follow these rules even though modern engines don't restrict us so much on size and color. Tiling is efficient and is still practiced in modern engines in the form of texture atlasing. I'm a lot sloppier with textures because it's the one part of the process I find tedious, but also the one thing audiences seem more forgiving about, especially when you consider a lot of games with classic aesthetic tend to really pixelate their textures. I do this by setting Blender to move pixel by pixel and resetting the UVs in the scene. This lets me basically paint the models as if they were pixel art. I do pay attention to pixel density, that's how compact the texture is on the UV. You can see where the model isn't even remotely square, I have to adjust the UV itself to match the geometry, or else you get some pretty nasty looking textures. If I had the budget and resources of Konami, I could probably make everything perfectly square like they did with Silent Hill. For this scene, I'm experimenting with vertex colors. I'll save that talk for another video, but because I baked the lighting into the texture itself, I don't feel like I really need to use vertex colors which was the PlayStation's approximation of real lighting. This is the first time I bothered painting in a map, but to be honest, I like the look and will experiment further. The light rays are vertex painted to appear transparent. And that wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching.